Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in the multi-track of Adobe Audition CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to export selected clips or entire tracks as their own individual audio files. With the Move tool selected, keyboard shortcut V, select the clips that you want to export as their individual files. To select multiple clips, hold Command if you're on a Mac, Control if you're on Windows, and just click on any additional clips. Go to the top menu, go to File, Export, Multi-Track Mixdown. You'll choose Selected Clips if you want the exported audio files to be the actual duration of each clip. You'll choose Entire Session if you want the exported audio files to all be the exact same duration, which will be the entire duration of the multi-track session. So I'll click Selected Clips, enter a file name, and if you are exporting clips that are on multiple tracks, Audition is going to automatically add the track name for you at the end of each file. Choose the location to where you wanna save the files, MP3 format's great, we'll keep all this the same, and here's where the magic happens. Current selected clip only is what we want, but mixed stereo means it's going to take our selected clips and put them all together and export one stereo file, which is not what we want. So go ahead and click on the change button. Each source will be mixed down into separate files. So every box that you have checked that is considered a source. So I have six sources checked. That means I am going to export six separate files. So all you need to do is just choose what you want to export as a separate file. You'll choose mix options if you want to take the selected clips and combine them together. In our case, we just want to export the individual clips to their own files. So uncheck all of the mix options. But let's go over range it's currently set to selected clips. That's because we went to file, export, multi-track mixdown, whatever you select here, that is going to be what shows up in the mixdown options. Now, if you chose the wrong option by accident, you can change it by just clicking the dropdown and changing it here. When it's set to selected clips, you will only have the option to check tracks if there is a selected clip on it. Now, if you have the range set to entire session, well, now you have the ability to select any or all the tracks, but the main difference is when you export, the separate files are all gonna be the exact same duration. Now, I don't want all of the selected clips to be the same duration, so I'm gonna change the range back to selected clips. I'll click OK. Now I can see the mix down options. And instead of stereo mix, we now see it says track one, track two, track three. It's exactly what we want. I'll click OK. Now, if I go to my desktop, there are my three clips. And if I select the clips and press Command I to go to Get Info, you can see the duration. So they are the exact duration of the clips as they are on the multi track. When range is set to entire session, all of the exported files will be the exact same duration, which is the duration of the multi-track session. It's the same process, but if you just want to export an entire track as its own audio file, select all of the clips on that track, or a little shortcut, if you just double click on the header of any track, it will select all the clips. Then go to the file menu, export, multi-track mixdown, we'll choose selected clips. So we'll click, enter a file name. Since we're only exporting one track, Audition is not going to automatically append the track name. Choose the location to save. We'll keep the format, MP3, all this the same. Mix stereo, we need to change that. So we'll click change. We'll uncheck mix and we'll check track two. The range is selected clips, which is what we want. We'll click OK and we'll click OK to export. And the duration is the actual duration of the audio. And that is how to export selected files or tracks as individual files in Adobe Audition CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.